Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So let's let's talk about tumor growth. The growth of the growth of cancerous tumor can be modeled can be modeled by Gompert's law. Gompert's law. Mathematically, it says that the derivative of n of t is equal to minus a times n of t times natural log of b times n, where n is function of t. In fact, over here also. Where, where n of t is proportional to number of cells and tumor and a and b are positive parameters. Our task is going to be to find out its uh, fixed points are equilibrium points and uh, then we will see that what is happening in long run so in fact it's, it seems difficult to solve analytically like, oh no it's 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 basically simple to solve okay later on we we can maybe solve it uh, analytically also uh, so let's first find out its fixed points for so for uh, fixed points for fixed points are uh, the equilibrium solutions or equilibrium solutions we will set our model time derivative to be zero so this gives me this equation over here which gives me n to be 0 or natural log of p n to be 0 uh, which gives me n to be 0 or p n to be exponential of 0 which is 1 that means one equilibrium point is 0 and other is 1 over p uh, next thing that we will we will we will love to see is which of these equilibrium points is is sink are stable and which one is source are unstable so our f of n in this case is minus a times n natural log of b times n so if we calculate its derivative then it's minus let's have its derivative it's going to be a times natural log of b n and then we can uh, have plus and then we will keep this as it is we are using product rule and then we have minus b times n times b which gives me a times natural log of b n and then this gets cancelled with this this is minus a f prime at n so this is the derivative now let's compute this derivative at the first equilibrium point which is zero so you can realize that when you when n is zero then this natural log will be negative infinity and uh, minus is over here so it will be positive infinity and you are subtracting something positive or some number so so plus infinity minus some number has to be plus so it's going to be positive in other words n star to be zero is unstable or you can say it's a source then we can calculate f star at uh, 1 over b which is equal to minus a times natural log of b times 1 over b 
minus a this is going to be 0 so this is minus a which is less than 0 this implies that 1 over b is uh, stable or we can say that it's sink or it's attractor also so next uh, we can see the the trajectories how they would look like so they will what will be happening to the trajectories so ideally so let's say this is my 1 over b which is the fixed point and this is other fixed point which is 0 this line over here is this so if there is a trajectory that starts somewhere over here will move to this like this maybe like something like that and if there is another trajectory which is coming from here then it will be coming over here so and on phase line if we if we see on phase line so this is my x bar this is x and uh, here is a graph on Desmos for the f of n which was minus a n time natural log of p n so you can realize that at 0 uh, we can because we don't have values before 0 so we can talk about the values for this case after 0 so after 0 x dot is positive so trajectory should move to right like this right in other words and uh, for x prime greater than this one the flow should be towards left in other words we can say that so it looks like this so for and and the values between uh, x equal to 1 and 0 the flow is towards right and here the flow is towards left so if if i place this phase line over here then it says that at this point at 1 over b the flow is down from above and up from below so this is my phase line and this is how the trajectories would roughly look like there might be a certain changes in the behavior at these places now we can also solve the system that previously we had analytically let's try that now let's try to solve the that uh, model analytically so uh, n dot was given by minus a n times natural log of p n which can be written after separation of variables in this form to be equal to minus a t t then integrating gives 1 over n times natural log of p n minus a t t using substitution this integration can be solved and the answer is natural log of uh, natural log of p x where well, this is defined in absolute terms and this is minus a t plus c which is natural log of p x to be a e to the minus a t let's say x of 0 is x naught as an initial condition then we can see that natural log of p x naught is equal to a so finally the solution x of t implicitly should look like so it's n basically this is n this is n this is n of 0 to be n naught and this is also n naught x naught means n naught like I am confusing a bit this 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 variables okay so this is going to be natural log of p n to be equal to natural log of p times n naught times e to the minus a t r n is n of t is equal to 1 over b times exponential of in other words e power natural log of b 
Pn0 e to the minus at where n0 is the initial condition now we can move to desmos and plot this solution let's move so we also know that uh, the fixed point or the equilibrium point was b equal y equal to 1 over b which is this and uh, in fact we have taken this initial condition uh, which will be moving between 0 and uh, 10 a and b are chosen to be constant as 1 you can change them to so this is my equilibrium solution uh, which was also a tractor or the stable and x y equal to 0 was also equilibrium solution but we are talking about this stable one so let's let's see the solution so this is solution uh, when you are taking the initial condition to be 5.5 this is the graph which is uh, which is going to ultimately attracted towards this uh, y equal to 1 over p which is equilibrium solution now let's 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 allow this initial condition to vary so you can see that a's initial condition is varying the trajectories are varying but ultimately they are going to approach to uh, 1 over p as time goes to infinity you can observe that so is x naught which is initial condition is varying the trajectories are varying but ultimately they are moving towards 1 over b which was attractor or stable fixed point or the equilibrium solution thank you one last thing here a and b can be seen from the model now what does it what does they show you can search it on uh, uh, in detail for this model you can also come to know that there is a biological meaning of this a and small b thank you